welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Cam. I currently live in Japan where I do lifestyle and traveling videos. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you for all your love and support. If you have not as yet, please go ahead and like, subscribe, share, and turn on your post notification bell. That way you'll never miss another video. And without further ado, let's jump into this video. I feel like it has been a minute guys since I've been on camera talking to y'all. It's officially December 1st and I told you guys from my last video that I will be participating in Vlogmas. So happy first day Vlogmas. I don't know if that's a thing but I'm going to make it a thing. Happy first day Vlogmas guys. Um, I'm so excited. Um, but before we jump into the intro of the Vlogmas which I work really really hard on. So I can't wait for you guys to see that. I'm going to go ahead and give y'all a rant. So as I said before if you're new here I live in Japan and I work in Japan and guys we all know that Japan is a homogeneous society which means that 98% of the people in Japan are Japanese and less than 1% of the people look like me right you've heard this before from my previous videos so um, what am I ranting about well it bothers me a whole lot like today I was talking to a, a friend a co-worker um, so today let's back up some days in my job I get the opportunity to go to another teacher's school and four or five of us actually meet at that school and we work together and it's really really fun because in our individual schools we're the only foreigner and the rest of the staff is Japanese so when we get to meet together it's really fun because you get to talk and you, you get to experience uh, you get to be with like-minded people and it's really really cool sometimes it's not all that peachy but 98 of the times 98 percent of the times it's really really nice um but me and my friend we were talking about the fact that how as a black person in Japan like there's so many times I hear come to Japan as a black person and it will be okay your blackness will not be seen and all these other things and that's not true guys I, I try to come on here and I try to be as real with you as possible and be as truthful with you as possible and I want to let you know that that's not the truth being a black person in Japan is being a black person or black skin has plagued us regardless of where we go in life because what we have to understand is yes and this is where I don't know if I should be upset with the Japanese people because as I said it is a homogeneous society so they don't necessarily experience people that look like me on the regular so all they have to go off is what is seen on, on media and we all know that media portrays us another a, a particular way just society in general because just simple things as black the color black represents evil represents dark darkness represents bad and the color white is pure you know so little things like that we realize and then we have um, the media that brings in influence from characters so the black character is a witch the black the, the, the black character is a thug the black character is going to help harm you the white one is the peaceful one the white one is is the angel <laughs> there they, they it, it, it plays in your mind and the kids see this the adults see this so when when you constantly see something like that and you have no one-on-one -on -one experience with a person from that race it kind of plagues your mind where you're like okay this is all I know what I've seen on TV so you kind of take a step back you also see that in the classroom so going in as a foreigner um, it's very difficult to get the students to open up to you to speak with you and uh, uh, being black plays into that as well it's difficult I have to work so hard to let my personality shine through to get the kids to open up to me so difficult and it really really hurts guys when another person a, 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 a white person comes in because they have white skin and they have blonde hair and they have blue eyes and they're so kawaii according to the Japanese people and the students they're just like kawaii oh pretty pretty cute 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 and I'm just like they have not opened their mouth they have not even tried they have won half the battle they have won half the battle half the battle just from their skin tone just from their hair just from their eye color and I, when I tell you that as a black person when you go into that classroom when you go into that it's not even the classroom when you step foot on that campus of that school what you have to do 
in order to be seen in order to be taken seriously is just ridiculous and just to know that you could just walk in with a particular skin with a particular eye with a particular hair and then you're 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 granted all this privilege oh my god it hurts the soul and i saw that the other day this this other girl walked in white girl brand new to the school nobody knows her and we were there and we were we had to be like uh pulling teeth to get the kids to talk you know as i said you have to do the most to get them to speak and to do what they wanted to do what what you need them to do and this girl walked in white girl and everybody was like kawaii cute blah, 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 blah. and she won half the battle she won half the battle and i hope this is not taken into am i going is white people prettier than black people that's that's not what i'm saying by any means i'm just saying what is in their mind and i don't want you guys to come here as with that perception that hey i'm getting away from racism you're not necessarily getting away from it because unfortunately this skin that we have it has a bad stigma worldwide it might not be as um, in your face as it is in the West, but it's there. It's there in subtle little things that is done. And um, you realize it with, with so many things, guys. Um, and another issue that I have, like I said, I'm ranting. This is going to be my last piece. Another issue that I have is that Japan is a patriarchal society. And because I have a clitoris, somehow that, that, that causes my mind to not make sound judgments or I'm not smart enough to make certain decisions. And an individual with a shaft somehow is smarter than me, regardless of how much more educated or how much more experience I have than that person because he has a penis his opinion his thoughts are valued more than mine so that's the second thing to look out for ladies um, just realize that it is going to be a world where you're put on the back seat where your thoughts aren't necessarily valued like for example there was a lunch meeting and I don't remember all the meals that were given, but one of the options were steak and sushi. And there was a next option that was given for lunch. So I was like, I wanted the steak. So the lady came to me and she was taking my order. I said, I wanted steak. She looked at me and she went, no. So I was like, no, I want the steak. I'm pointing at the picture. And she's like, that is for a man. And I was like, okay, but I want the steak. And she was like, no, woman eat this. Man eat this. So she was basically telling me because I was a female, I should not eat that. So I basically told her, I said, well, today I am going to be a man because I am, mind you, they're not paying for my meal. I'm paying for my own meal. And she's going to tell me that I cannot have the steak. I'll be damned if anybody's going to tell me what I can or cannot eat. That's what you're not going to do. No, sir. No, ma'am. Not today. Not ever. So I was like, I am having the steak. I could understand. I, I am having the steak. I can understand if you're going to tell me, okay, I am paying for your meal, so I cannot afford to buy you a steak. But how dare you tell me after I am the one taking out my money to order this food and you are going to tell me what I cannot have because I am a woman and what I don't give a damn what any of these men in this room is going to think about me eating a steak. I don't care. I don't care. So I had the steak. I ordered the steak and when the steak come, of course, everybody in the room is looking at me like, what the hell is she doing with that steak? But I, I, I truly don't care, honestly. I mean, you have to build up that mentality with coming here that you're going to be looked at and perceived a certain way. So you have to just be ready to accept that. And just like, these people don't matter. They don't matter. At the end of the day, you go home. It's just work and it matters not. It matters not. Anyways, I'm not going to be ranting anymore. I'm done. So guys, here is the intro to Vlogmas. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. I worked really, really hard on it. And I hope you guys will enjoy it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, turn on your post notification bell. 
and uh, yeah here is to 25 days of vlogmas day one down enjoy this intro i'll see you next time bye <laughs>